hi guys welcome back to our channel so it's around that time when we're getting the beds prepared for fall um, gardening so as you can see all the beds are empty and because we had finished harvesting everything we the holy basil took over and so now we're harvesting the holy basil which is right here and some are right here this is our little setup station and um, the only thing that's in the beds right now are bell peppers and herbs and um, of course we're each bed we're um, trying to nourish it with um, kitchen scrap chicken manure and you know anything we can find to um, keep them nice and healthy so I'm just gonna show you the process that we do to to um, have our holy basil and our lemongrass bush that's over here beside David we're gonna harvest that as well and um, dry them and make them into tea bags so we'll have those for the colder months so hang tight and if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe um, like share and yeah give some love to the channel will ya all right so I'll, um, I'll do this in segments yeah I'll do this in segments so you'll be able to see um, the whole process the method to our madness so this is what we do guys, we give the holy basil a good rinse just to get all the sand off because the, the chickens they love to go where the holy basil is and take their dust bath so it's very dusty, very sandy. So we're going to give each bunch a nice wash like this. Alright. So here what we're doing now is we're harvesting from our little lemongrass bush because that goes back to... That dies down during the um, the cold months. And we are not gonna, we're not gonna cut these. We're just gonna hang them on the line to dry like this and then we roll them into little bundles after they have been dried. Okay guys, so this is how we hang our stuff to dry. Probably the um, the sun will come back out today. You can see down the line, that's all the holy basil there. We'll come back out and it takes about two to three days for them to dry. What we do, we take them in in the evenings and because the, the night dew will fall on them and then they'll start to like mildew. So we take them in in the evenings and then we hang them, hang them out in the mornings look at the chickies under here taking dust baths so like i said i'll continue to do this in segments so you'll see exactly how we um get to our tea bags all right guys so we're on the inside right now we're in our dining room and i'm gonna show you pretty much um how our dining room has been transformed into a herb drying area for the last couple of months and then um we'll just cut and show you how we bottle everything and so on all right so hang tight okay guys so here we are here we have the um we have the lemongrass and as you see we we um, would put ties on them and then we would hang them out and let them dry the best way is probably on the dining room table um inside but when we'd have um nice warm sun we'd put them out and so we've been drying these all right, so we have quite a bunch here, as you can see. So David's going to go ahead and cut the ties off for us. And then we're going to go ahead and cut them into little sticks, maybe an inch um, long. And so over here now we have some holy basil. Um, as they dry, they do release the seeds. And so we keep the seeds to scatter them next year, even though where they grow, you know, as soon as they start to um, have these um, flowers, they do start to release their leaves. I mean, their seeds. You know, this is the um, majority of the um, holy basil. And as you can see, we had them in bunches um, tied up, right, and dry. So they are nice and dry. They've been drying on in this area in the dining room for about, for about a month. It takes about a good month for them to get nice and dry. And this air is very aromatic right now. It smells so good. So what I'm going to do is take another grow bag 
um, take each bunch and kind of shake the leaves off in there and I'll show you how we do that. So hang tight. All right, I hope you're able to see. So all right, so here is the first bunch. All right, and this is not a very hefty bunch. Oh, that's better. Okay, and we just pretty much do this. Crumble it, shake the leaves off into the bag, just like this. Season all. What I used to do before, I used to put everything, the stick and everything into my food processor and process all of that, but I don't do that anymore. Because I found out that even the seeds are medicinal. The seeds are good for you. So this is going to take some time. So I'll do this. We'll do this and then come back and show you how much we've gotten. So Everybody is doing something. We're stripping the leaves off. And Chunka is over here. He's cleaning up the... So Grandpa just walked in, guys, and said, Oh, this is one of his favorite herbs, by the way. Right, Daddy? Yeah, you're cool. Holy basil. Daddy calls it... Holy basil. Mm. <laughs> but this is yeah. one of daddy's favorite and he's saying, oh, it smells so it good in is. here. Mm -hmm. It does. Yes. I wish it helps. Good. <laughs> you can help people always have this um, um, sensation. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, it does yes. smell yes. good. So mm -hmm. if you can get your first draw tonight. Happy, happy. Happy with that. Yes. So, okay, guys, so we're done with the holy basil, and this is how much we've gotten. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot, right? Because these leaves are very dry, and so um, it's concentrated. I'm going to show you um, the bunch that we um, got left from it, the, the sticks. So now we're going to shake it and make sure that all the sand is off of there before we bottle it. All right, I'm going to cut up this last um, bunch of lemongrass the smell of the lemongrass and the holy basil is just divine so guys as usual per usual please do your research before you um we're not trying to encourage this is just what we do I'm not trying to encourage anybody to go out and grow lemongrass holy basil and um what else <clears throat> catnip and all of these things right just do your research if you decide that you've been encouraged to grow what you drink as tea, right? We barely buy store-bought tea. And the next one I want to try to grow next year is chamomile. Um, my youngest son, he loves chamomile. And so we're going to try to grow that next week. I mean, that um, next season should be rather easy to grow, right? <clears throat> no. Nothing like that. Even though it's dried, it's still aromatic. And this is why I um, decided that I was going to do this um, today so I can bottle them. Because if they, if the aroma is, is um, flooding the room like that, you know, it's escaping. So I, I need to bottle it. So, all right. So I'm going to show you. I'm almost done. All right, guys. So there's one last process, right? And I said this is the, what we got. Hope you're able to see. Okay, that's probably better. Let's see. There we go. And so we got, so we kind of do a little shimmy shimmy in the, with the um, bag, trying to get the sand, whatever sand might be left. As you can see, there's some here, right? And so the one last process we do is to try to ensure that all the sand is out. Is to put it in this little strainer here. Just kind of save it. And take note to see if there's any sand falling in there. If not, I just go straight ahead and put it into my bottle right here, like so. So it does this process. It does have a little bit of work to it, but it is worth it. Okay, shimmy, shimmy. Most of what I see falling in here is um, seeds. I will keep these seeds, but the seeds are also medicinal. You can do your research if you're interested. The seeds are also good for you. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff it in here. 
Guys, be prepared to do a lot of vacuuming. This holy bingo, the leaves are so light, they fly everywhere. So this first bottle is completely stuffed, right? Okay, guys, so we've gotten a second bottle of holy bees. I'm going to label this one. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be making some in tea bags and storing it in this airtight thing. Now, I do this for, like, my visitors, right? Um, or when I want to make um, a quick cup, just one cup, individual cup. These are the tea bags. They're hemp um, tea bags, and I get them on um, Amazon. Don't remember the price right now so here goes one and i'm putting in there because the tea leaves are very concentrated the basil leaves are very concentrated you only want to put like this much right literally a pinch in there i'm going to put a little bit more than a pinch because i'll make each tea bag um serve for maybe two cups or so and this is all you do as a string you tie it right tie it like so and there you have your own tea bag just made your own tea bag 